So here we are, coming to the final session of our day and a half together. Richard and Summer, please join me. And I think that final question uh, which Jenna posed to the panel and for us to reflect on about innovations and solutions is a rather apt segue into this final session. Those of you that have worked with me for, oh, I don't know, five minutes, know that I am a person of action. So discussion is important and it's very valuable, this kind of uh, context to have those conversations together. But I think leading towards consolidating our learning, our actions, our ideas, our innovations, in terms of the things that we all want to carry away from this conference to take back into our professional lives is a really important one to end on. So thank you uh, for that final question, Jenna. Richard, could I invite you to give some uh, final reflections about what you've heard and discussed with delegates uh, in terms of the takeaways for this conference? Yeah, so thanks very much, Rachel. And uh, so this was the first of three forums across the region. So actually, it's a bit of an experiment to bring everyone together here in Tashkent uh, to really see whether we had enough in common. And I think the evidence has been clear that you know the quality of the debate, the kind of rigor of the academic reference, and the kind of engagement you've all had with the conference has really undermined, uh, sorry, underlined the uh, the kind of. Uh, um, that there is so much in common, and all these kind of heated topics we've been discussing means we've got a lot in common, a lot to discuss. And actually, I'm, for one, really happy that the Wi-Fi didn't work, because it meant we all had to listen a lot harder. And listening skills are one of those skills that perhaps might drift off, otherwise we'd be doing email or shopping on Amazon or looking at Facebook. So I'm particularly interested, but, uh, 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 that I'm totally happy that the Wi-Fi didn't work. And uh, as for one, as a young boy, I used to never stop talking. I used to talk at breakfast, talk at lunch, talk in the school. I got told off all the time for talking. And my mother used to say to me, Richard, you've got two ears and one mouth. Use them in that proportion. So, uh, so I was, really uh, did a lot of listening, and it was fantastic uh, conversations that happened. Um, Look, there was, a, there was a whole open lot of questions, didn't it, we heard? I mean, the variety of definitions, the models, uh, and the concerns were raised. Uh, you know, and Tony mentioned uh, yesterday that a lot is conflated into the term uh, EMI. Um, we talked a, a lot about, I think, Cherry and Victoria uh, uh, remind us about the uh, integrated system, the integrated transport system, uh, if you like, uh, about you know, moving across a ferry on straight onto maybe a, a bus that takes you directly to the kind of start of the underground system that can take you to the airport. Those things must be aligned, and, uh, and we, we talked about that. We talked a bit about this runaway train. Well, you know, the trains in my country, it would kind of grind to a halt of its own accord, probably, in the middle of a field. But I know trains in your countries are much more effective. But again, go back to integration. Uh, we have to be, you know, the signalman at the, in the control box as well as the driver uh, to please all the passengers. And Cherry talked about the elephant in the room, the kind of, uh, uh, and the proficiency of content teachers. And we discussed that. And I think that's probably a theme of our one and a half days together. We, we didn't really have any elephants in the room, I think. We tackled all the kind of critical issues. Uh, and this morning, a mirror uh, reminded us of the kind of uh, the volume and the kind of uh, the scale of the issue. Uh, and uh, uh, that, and this, this uh, link to China reminded me there's some more learners of English in China, or Chinese learners of English, than there are native speakers of English in the whole rest of the world. And that yesterday, that you know, half of all international students are studying uh, uh, in, um, in the medium of English. Uh, and Dan, with his research report this morning, underlined how important that is for building trust and building trade around the world. But also remind us that 35% you know, or about a third of all current skills are going to be redundant uh, in a few years' time. So actually, that's a bigger problem about what are the critical skills required. And again, Cherry reminded us of that this morning about uh, what are the critical skills that are going to be required uh, going forward for employers. Uh, my new friend from Adana uh, Science and Technical University also quote, all had a great, great quote about uh, that English for him has always opened doors. And their own survey they did in Turkey uh, uh, highlighted the fact that 85% of employers still think that you know, English is a critical skill. So I think those are my kind of takeaways, if you like. But I've got five specific things that will happen next after our meeting as part of our community going forward. The first one's very simple. It's going to be the fact that all of the slides and all of the recordings uh, and a short conference report will be available to you uh, very shortly. How short, Summer? When will this be available? 
next week. Okay, All right, so next week for that. And secondly, in order to continue the conversation uh, and to work as a community, uh, we're also going to take advantage of Professor uh, Galloway's uh, online portal. I wonder whether she could, if she's in the room, could say, if there's a microphone, could go please just there uh, for the student helpers, just to explain maybe one thirty seconds how uh, delegates can register uh, for that uh, portal. We have 39 coordinators at the moment, and it is a big work in progress. <laughs> We've been developing this for over a year now. We have a draft website up at the moment, but in a couple of weeks, there's a lot going on in the background, and a new website will go up quite soon. Um, pardon? Um, the purpose of the network is a resource sharing site and also an academic research network. So we have a mixture of, sorry, just running here, <laughs> um, practitioners and researchers. And it came out of the need for a lot of content professors were saying that they really wanted to know what was happening in other contexts. They wanted to connect with those teaching their subjects through English and other contexts. Um, the need for EAP and ESP practitioners to work together. Um, sorry, um, we have online webinars, um, interviews with scholars, publications. There's a database for dissertations, so students have been uploading their dissertations and things. If you're interested in joining us either as a coordinator, you can email me. We have an advisory panel and you can also sign up as a member to the mailing list as well. And as of next month, we'll also start with a six month yeah, a magazine, so a biannual magazine just with updates and things on the network. Um, it is a work in progress, but I'm always happy to work with more people, so if you're interested, please do get in touch. Sorry for being out of breath. <laughs> mm. Thank you very much. So that's an online forum to continue the conversation that we've had here in Tashkent. Uh, the third thing I want to mention as a follow-up will be um, your opportunity to contribute to and comment on uh, a British Council paper being produced, a policy uh, paper being produced on EMI itself. I don't know whether uh, Anne wanted to mention any timelines around that, uh, about with this paper and its uh, timeline. Come a microphone to that table please, table 10. Hi, so um, obviously you're aware that we have a British Council position paper on our position with general education in lower and middle income countries with regards to EMI, so we're looking to develop a similar position paper on EMI in higher education. Um, we'll be gathering together a group of academics and interested parties in the next month and we'll hopefully start to produce something towards the end of this year and early next year. As Richard said, we'd love to have your contribution and your thoughts on what we produce. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, and just following on from that, the fourth thing, follow on, will be, I think that uh, we wanted to engage with all the UK-based uh, or university-based uh, uh, um, delegates who have been in this conference to also um, form a sort of think tank around uh, this space and uh, contribute to our own understanding of this within a wider Europe context. I don't know if Roy, across on table six, want to say 30 seconds on that? The microphone, please, table six. Yeah, it, it's um, it working. Yeah. Uh, it's actually much the same thing. We want to bring people together to help us produce that position paper, mm. which we then need to sort of seek people's views on. But we'd like to ensure that the whole of the UK's expertise in this area is made available and we can express opin an opinion, state and position on how this is best done. Yeah. Very good, thank you very much. And the final thing to say, a final sort of uh, carry on bit will be that um, although this was, as I mentioned, one out of three annual forums um, uh, as part of uh, the Higher Education for Employability Programme, which is managed by Summer, uh, that next year we're exploring the area of quality, assur quality assurance of teaching and aligning the curriculum to the labour market and we very much hope that can be uh, based in Turkey next year at some point. So um, your British Council um, colleagues in, in a country will advise you on as that emerges, the agenda and the dates emerge for that. So thank you very much all for your contributions.
thank you, Richard, for taking us through a whirlwind of uh, some of the key takeaways, but I know that there are, there are more individual connections and professional connections that you've made between one another that I know that you will continue, and that's also important as well as the broader network. Can I just um, some, ask you to say a few words on logistics for this afternoon, and then I will say some closing remarks and thank yous.